Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application how to connect the MySQL server database and bind the data into a data grid view control. And here we got the output. Employee table is binded into this data grid view control. Employee ID, first name, last name, email. Employee ID, first name, last name, email. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the templates, I am choosing Windows, the Windows Forms application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is MySQL Connection Bind Data Grid View. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let me expand this Form 1 design page. Now in this form one design page, I am adding one data grid view control open toolbox. Data grid view control. Let me expand this one. That's it. Up to now we have done the designing part. Now the coding part is double click the form one. It will generate the form load event. Now first thing in this code behind I am adding the namespaces of my SQL using system.configuration and the second namespace I have to add the my SQL DLL library. But when I am trying to add the namespace using my SQL and notice the intelligence is not showing the my SQL DLL libraries which means in our project reference there is no any MySQL DLL libraries there. Let's add the DLL library of the MySQL. Right click the references folder. Manage nudget packages. Browse. Search for MySQL. And in the search results, notice the first option mysql.data. Click that one. Install. Click OK. I accept. And here we got the message successfully install mysql.data into our project. Let's switch to the code behind. Open Solution Explorer. Notice here we got the MySQL.data DLL library is added in our project references folder. Now we can check MySQL dot data dot MySQL client. So after adding these two namespaces, now I am adding the data source connection string of the MySQL server into app.config file. Open Solution Explorer. I'm minimizing the references folder. App.config. Open that one. In the app.config file, inside the configuration, add connection strings and name is equals to my connection, which is my connection string name. The second property is a connection string. Now, in this connection string, I am adding my SQL database data source. Data source is equals to localhost semicolon port number is equals to the second parameter is a port number. Let's open my SQL PHP my admin database and notice here the server my SQL 3306 is a port number. Let's add that one semicolon is 
is equals to the initial catalog we need to add the database name my database name is the sample db let's add that one sample db user id the next parameter the user id is a root which is a default user id name and the next one is a password is equals to if you don't have password just leave it like that if, or if you have any password just enter that password and the last one is very important which is the SSL mode is equals to none after adding the connection string in the app.config file switch to the code behind again let's start the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding my connection string name which is my connection dot connection string my SQL connection my SQL con is equals to new my SQL connection I'm adding main con string SQL query is equals to now here the SQL query is a select statement select start from the table name is employee table copy this one paste here SQL command my SQL command sqlcom is equals to new my sql command which takes two parameters one is this sql query comma and the second parameter is the connection object which is my sql con let's open the connection string my sql con dot open method my sql data adapter SDR is equals to new my SQL data adapter. I am adding the object SQL my SQL command object data table DT is equals to new data table SDR dot fill. I am filling the data with the data table object. Let's run the data grid view control. Data grid view one dot data source is equals to DT. The final step is let's close the connection string. That's it. We have done the coding part. Let's check the results. Start. And here we got the output employee table is binded into this data grid view control employee id first name last name email employee id first name last name email that's it